Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. But first and foremost, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you all got to spend some time with the family, eat a lot of great food, and uh, make some great memories. <clears throat> so today on our video, we're out here where we usually stage our sawmill out and do most of our milling. We had this uh, cherry tree blow over. We went ahead, we dug up some of the roots there, and we're gonna go attempt to pull it over with the tractor and then continue to grade, clear out that broken off elm tree, little maple, just kind of extend out a little bit more of a flat working area here for us at the mill. Eventually we're gonna get around to removing these three trees to really make a nice um, flat spot here and potentially build a milling shed later on. But uh, anyways, wanna take y'all along with us and we'll get some action here with the LS XR3135. That's a pretty impressive stump we just ripped out. 35 horses. Very impressive machine. Hard to run one-handed though, I can tell you that much. We're out here uh, just kind of doing some grade work to widen us out a spot to help turn the trailer around. I'm gonna dig up these roots on this cherry a little bit so we can push this tree on over and uh, get a saw log out of it. It actually uprooted during a windstorm, so the roots down here are all loose. I can actually almost shove it over with the front end loader, but uh, we're gonna loosen it up a little bit more. That way we don't overstress anything. Atlas is out here having fun. Good day. Right, we got the haunted pioneer versus the cherry tree and stump. We dug that up earlier with the backhoe and we can almost push it over with the tractor. But as we push it, the root ball kind of hits the bottom of the tractor. So I wanted to see what this 4,500 pound winch could do. Close. So the winch has a little more power, but we are just sliding backwards. So 
So I'm actually going to extend out, back up a little bit to get a little better angle on it, and uh, see if I can't just back up. All right, let's winch again. hook a chain with it with a tractor. Good try though. All right, so what I think I want to do first is hook the chain up top and just see if I can't pull it out using the, the curl in on the backhoe. If that don't work, then we'll hook the chain up to the, the frame of the tractor and go ahead and pull it over. really well for us our first attempt there took a lot of pressure to break these back roots but uh, yeah it, it worked just fine for us we're gonna go ahead and get the saw cut the butt of the stump off we use the grapple push it over the hill we we'll end up with a, a decent little saw log here and then we'll uh, continue on with uh, taking this down to grade making our flat spot bigger <laughs> doesn't do too bad there with a nice sharp chain on oh wow, this is uh it's gonna be a nice cherry i'll show you what i really like about cherry when i see it and it's got uh there's nice dark traces in the wood that uh shows up on your boards and just gives a nice contrast in there all right so we're gonna go ahead and get the saw log out of the way come back with a grapple grab the stump push it over the hill and uh, then we'll work on that little broken off elm. <laughs> 